The Russian spacecraft, Phobos Grunt, was marooned in low Earth orbit when its Earth escape engines failed to fire after launch. The craft was designed to land on the Martian moon Phobos, collect soil samples, and return them to Earth for study. The satellite also carries a small Chinese Mars orbiter, a science experiment, and full tanks of hydrazine fuel. Engineers had hoped to start the engines and send it to Mars before the two-week window of opportunity closed. After that, planets would not be properly aligned for another 26 months. Since Phobos Grunt became stranded in its parking orbit, Russian and European space agency ground stations have only succeeded in talking to it a handful of times. When the window for the journey closed, the Russian space agency continued to try to contact the probe to boost it to a higher orbit so that atmospheric drag would not cause it to re-enter. As hopes for recovering the satellite dimmed, speculation turned to when and where the satellite would re-enter. Most of the satellite is expected to burn up on re-entry, although some pieces may fall to the Earth's surface. While most of the world's population lies beneath the plus or minus 51 degree latitude swath of Earth that is in the potential re-entry zone, any debris that re-enters would very likely land in the ocean, since water covers nearly three-quarters of the Earth's surface. As with the two other recent satellite deorbits in 2011, NASA's UARS and Germany's ROSET, no one will know the exact time and location of the re-entry until the final hours. The estimates will become more accurate as the event draws nearer.